Right, let's start this video off with a comment down below from yourselves. And the question is very simple. What is the key factor that makes you buy your new set of irons? And how much does value play a part in that decision? Because in this bag behind me, I have what I consider to be the best value set of irons on the market in 2021. And it's not just based on their price point alone. So getting good value golf clubs right now is difficult, let alone irons, driver, anything you wanna buy. Everything's gone so expensive over the last couple of years and we all know from the comments section, you're not happy with that. We even suggested in a recent video that you look at the second hand market if you wanna get some real value. But before I tell you what my best value iron is of 2021, let's start with a bit of a league table. And surprisingly, it'll be Ping that's got one of the most expensive irons out there right now. That I-59 is £220 an iron, would you believe? And that's closely followed by Mizuno's recently released, the 225, which is £200 an iron. We've got Callaway Apex at 160 P790 is 155 Titleist Clubs, T300s, 135 And everyone's favourite brand, the other Ping G425, is £115. And what I'm going to tell you is this. My best value iron of 2021... It's just 90 pound an iron. Now, I think one important thing when you're considering irons right now is sort of what is available in terms of the range, because I'm also keen on going right the way through the bag with the same type of iron. And what I mean by that, I mean including wedges in that choice as well. And especially with this kind of strong lofted set, which this certainly fits into that category. What I like about it is that they have availability of that sort of uh, right the way down to lob wedge. So you've got a gap wedge, lob wedge, pitching wedge. So that's key for me as well to make sure that you can go from that longest iron in the bag right the way down, in this case, to lob wedge. And you've got all the options. And again, what I like about the lob wedge, the gap wedge, whatever it is, they kind of all look really good. And I've often said this, I don't know why we switch from this type of iron and then into a blade like Vokey. And this certainly does what it's supposed to do in terms of getting that ball up and high. Maybe that's just a bit too high, sit down ball. We just made the front edge. But again, a real tick in the box from this range. And again, just noticing yet again, just how good the feel is out of these clubs. Yeah, uh, just leaking a little bit out to the right. I just want to remind you first of all the title of this video, and it's the best value irons of 2021. It isn't the cheapest irons of 2021. And there's a very big difference in that because for me, what I'm looking for in terms of value, I still want great feel, I still want great looks, and obviously I want great performance. So to get all of that packed into an iron that is 90 pound a club, then that to me, is what offers great value. So before we get to the big reveal of what this club actually is, we'll keep the guessing game going for a bit and a few clues. So big one is that this is a hollow bodied iron that's cast. And another thing, it probably comes from a brand that we would definitely not associate with value up until probably the last 12 months or so. You've got it, haven't you? I think the other thing they've done really well with this iron is, is that profile that's appealing to the masses, I would say. So it's kind of, from above and from overall profile sole width, it's bulky enough to appeal to people that perhaps want a little bit of help. So looking for that game improvement type iron, but it's not too bulky that it put off a lot of sort of better players, if you like. And again, this thing is super forgiving in my opinion, and it also creates some incredibly fast ball speed. So like I said, appealing to a number of different type of player, which I think is key to put it still for me, all bagging it into that value category. Right, just grab, grab. Oh, grabbed a bit too much, needed to release. The thing for me that's interesting about these irons is first of all, like I said, they look very good. I love the way they've got this chamfered top line, which is very clever in making you think you've got a sl slightly smaller profile in hand than you actually do. There's a bit of mass behind there, but again, very much hidden away. You perhaps see it in some of the longer irons, but the performance out of them is really, really good. They're strongly lofted throughout the whole set, but there's nothing wrong with that as long as you know you're gapping. But it's that overall performance factor coupled with all those extra things that I've just referred to that make them great value irons. And you've seen enough clips by now, probably pinch the screen in a little bit and already spotted what this club is. 
It's from PXG, it's the 0211 DC of 2021. And at 90 pound a club, that's been the worst price it's been on some of the deals they put out recently, it's been 75 pound an iron. It offers incredible value. And those few things that I've just listed certainly make it a difficult club to beat. Now the bulk of this video that you're watching was filmed on the 16th of December and this clip I'm filming right now is the 21st of December and I've just noted that I've been talking about £90 these irons are when in fact there's just been a sale announced on PXG's website and they're back down to £75 an iron. So when I said it was the best value club of 2021 at £90 an iron, it's now 100% the best value iron of 2021 at £75 an iron. And one point to mention, because it's often commented on, I do not get one single penny in terms of promoting these clubs whatsoever. So take it as you will, buy them or don't buy them, I couldn't care less, but it still remains an incredibly good value iron. Okay, so that's a seven iron. Really easy to loft, we're on an elevated T position, don't get me wrong. Next shot you'll see me overlay is a five iron from exactly the same T position. And the thing is, value is no good unless these things perform incredibly well. And what these irons do is if they've got really, I say if you're talking about forgiveness, for me that means ball speeds across the club face and when an average golfer gets them in their hand, they're gonna be finding a lot of that club face. And what you don't want to see is huge drop-offs. You don't want to see all of a sudden you sort of get one off the bottom grooves and there's a real loss in yardage. And if you want some real detail about the uh, 0 11 DC in terms of performance, then go back to my original review and you can see the kind of numbers that we produce. But ultimately, what I've seen then and what I've seen now out here on the golf course is just a really, really forgiving iron. And like I said, forgiveness, performance, whatever you want to call that, or whatever that attribute is, then you associate that with value, then again, another massive box ticked. Right, so now you know what my best value iron of 2021 is, and what I wanna know from you in the comments box down below is, have I got this one right or have I got it wrong? And if I've got it wrong, then just put in the comment, give me an idea of what else is out there that's better, what price it's at, and why it's better. Because right now, honestly, I genuinely struggle to find an iron that offers everything that the 0211 DC does and is in that price category. That's how much I think this is the best value iron of 2021. But I would love your feedback, not to necessarily prove me wrong, but as I always say in the comments, it just guides your fellow golfer. They read a comment, they might have heard about the iron you're suggesting or they might know about the price you're suggesting and that will point them in another direction as well, which is all good for the golfer at the end of the day. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching this one. Put those comments down below, hit that uh, like button if you have enjoyed this video. If you don't subscribe, you want more of this kind of content, so it's reviewing clubs very much from the aspect of the average golfer, then please consider subscribing, hit that notifications bell, and uh, carry on watching and support in the channel. It's always very much appreciated. Right, I'm done here at Carden Park, another day. Sun went away in the afternoon, but we had a fairly decent day out here. So like I say, thanks for watching, and uh, bye for now.